Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome to this new episode. Today we're going to analyze again the Bitcoin price and have a look what is going on right now because we have some very interesting price action going on. We're going to start with the lower time frames and then go over into the daily and weekly. So sorry for the late video today but it's not only Black Friday in the crypto prices but also in the retail stores. So currently I am doing some Black Friday shopping and if you also want to get the best crypto deals in the Black Friday week then make sure to check out all the links that you find down below here because here you can get some nice discounts like this one over here 40% off on Ledger hardware wallet so definitely go and check that out and now my friends let's start here in the one hour because here it is very likely that we are going to form here a w formation which could take us potentially towards this area here where we have the 200 moving average in the one hour and it's right now coming down to the previous support that we had here at around eighteen thousand dollar and which now could be acting as a new resistance so what i'm expecting right now is that we most likely are coming up to this level here to test this eighteen thousand dollar and there we're gonna have to see if we're able again to go higher here towards our previous resistance at around twenty thousand dollar or if we're gonna get rejected here and start the next leg to the downside which potentially could take us at least towards fifteen thousand eight hundred dollar but potentially even lower and therefore let's go over into the four hour time frame because here as you can see we are still above the 200 moving average right here at fifteen thousand eight hundred dollar and also in my own indicator you can see that currently it looks like that we could get a potential buy signal and that's why i think it is very likely that maybe in the next couple of hours or maybe even during the weekend we're gonna see here a possible pump towards this eighteen thousand dollar and then confirm it as a new resistance this is what i think could happen in the next couple of hours and days maybe during the weekend because often on weekends we always see like a small pump and then again a correction back down to where we close the CMEs on Friday so we're gonna have to also look where today the CMEs are going to close currently they are still trading at around seventeen thousand dollar and also here you can see that we didn't even have a four hour close below the 100 moving average in the four hour which currently is holding as a support and that's why I think before maybe we continue the dump uh, we might see another leg to the upside to confirm this new resistance and although if we go over into the Bollinger Bands you can see that currently we're just coming down to the 9 moving average we're having it as a new resistance so far so as soon as we're going to close a 4 hour candle above $17,000 prepare to see the price push towards here the middle line of around $18,150 we also have all the indicators currently shifted to the downside but they are also looking like that we could get a local bottom here and we gearing up right now for a little pump to the upside Side potentially towards $18,000 and there we're gonna have to see what will happen if we don't get this little bounce then prepare to see continuation to the downside and therefore we have to go over into the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we're trading below the 20 daily moving average so if today we're gonna close below $17,000 we could go easily towards the 50 daily moving average which is lining up with our previous resistance of this channel which right now could be new support and this is perfectly lining up at $14,950 so let's say $15,000 and if we're gonna also fall below $15,000 I think we're gonna have a complete retracement back down to the bottom of this channel which is currently at $11,600 and this is also where the 20 weekly moving average is lining up as you can see here this 20 weekly is always a very strong support during a bull run and that's why I think if we have a complete retracement back down here here at the 20 weekly moving average we should have enough support right at around twelve thousand dollar and this is also where i have all my buy orders again in from the profits that i took here on the way to the upside usually i don't take too much profits because uh, for the long term bitcoin is looking very bullish so you should be very careful in taking out big profits right now after the halving i would always keep your bitcoin at least for the next one to two years before maybe bitcoin is going to have a big parabolic blow off top and therefore be very careful if you're taking out profits right now i would rather wait for good buy opportunities and even accumulate more bitcoins instead of trying to sell the top 
tops right now. But of course, here in the daily, it looks like that we're going to have a healthy correction right now, potentially even down towards the 200 daily moving average. We have right now the RSI potentially bouncing from the 50 level. But as soon as we're going to lose this level, be prepared to see a massive sell off towards this direction if we are not seeing a bounce right now and also take out this high that we created here at $19,500. Because in that case, this would be the confirmation that this upward trend now is broken and we are in here for a bigger correction potentially down to these levels before we bottom out again and then gear up to break here this 20k resistance and create a new all-time high so everything is still looking very bullish for the bitcoin price don't worry my friends so try to catch this dip this nice black friday on the bitcoin price and also into some alts don't go and panic sell if you're taking out some profits then make sure that you're ready also to buy back in once we're gonna have this possible correction and also here in the bollinger bands you can see that we still have a lot of room left here to the downside to reach here the first target of around fourteen thousand dollar and if this one is not gonna hold and be prepared to see the price going again towards $12,500 and the middle line is also where we last time bottomed out here once we had this massive correction from $12,500 down to $10,000 where then we created a bottom and then had this nice rally here towards 20 Okay, and this is also what I'm expecting here to come that we are bottoming out again in this price range here and we are gearing up for the next big parabolic move to the upside. So with that said guys, I'm going to wrap it up. If you like the content, don't forget to smash that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Very important. You're also very welcome to join my free Discord trading chat. You find the link down below here. We have a very great community over there and this is also where you can get my buy and sell indicator for Bitcoin so definitely come in our big crypto family over on discord as well so thank you very much for watching my friends happy black friday shopping and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye